So of course we are back with another Pokemon video review, of course episode review, whatever. We have the new Dark White episode part 1 and 2. Um, it's kind of a little bit of an arc revolving around Don coming back in the anime, which isn't that bad, but it's also like, really, I don't know, because I feel like in Universe she was actually really good coming back. Um, you know, we just got rid of Sinnoh, but then it's like, there's really no point of journeys, but at this point I feel like it's confirmed for getting everybody back. We just got Iris back not long ago. I haven't got like main Max back, that actually would've been really good. Um, but at the same time, they do go to home a lot. I guess a lot of people really want this. Um, it's weird, because I really didn't feel like Dawn needed to come back in my opinion though. Because again, her, her black and white debut was her coming back with like zero really good, in my opinion. But this one, I don't know, just... I feel like it was kind of like a little bit forced. Like, it was, I feel like it could be a really good episode regardless of Dawn coming back, because I feel like she really didn't need to be in the episode. I'm not being biased or whatever, because I still like Dawn, but I'm just saying in my opinion, though, of course. But yeah. Um, he actually was, I'm really hot though. I did take a shower, and I'm really cool, so yeah. Um, of course though, we got the episode review and stuff like that. Go over, skim over really quick though. So of course we start out with, um, Seno in the center of the forest area. It seems like Team Rocket after Cresselia for some odd reason though. I don't know, it's one of the just after her. Um, or age or whatever, because I know, like, genderless and stuff like that. I don't know, it just, it looks like a good girl. I don't know, in my opinion. Of course, we see Darkrai, the figure of Darkrai, of course. Still love Darkrai, yeah, we see it kind of in the shadows, chasing after it. Um, but it seems like, I think, if, like, one of them gets messed with, the other one comes in, because Crystal and Darkrai are pretty much counter opposites, they're without each other, they're opposites. Typical stuff. Then, of course, we come back to Cerise Laboratory, where we see, um, Ash, um, and we see, like, versus, for, uh, versus Cerise, of course, going on, like, in Sentinel, people are having, like, nightmares, falling asleep, suddenly, and, of course, to see, um, I feel like Ash needed to go, kind of, I feel like Ash kind of, it was, like, maybe the dark ride, just because it's, it's past experience and stuff like that, of course, oh, this is right there. I feel stupid, I did not say that before, but yeah, it seemed like Ash said, you know, it seems like he has a bad experience, bad experience with it. Of course, we see Ash go head off to Sentinel, what? Sentinel, Sentinel, yeah, so, of course. You know, we see Kuli kind of got like a little bit of interest in it, I believe. So yeah, it seems like Ash and Go go off to it. But um, it also seems like Kuli kind of a little bit interested as well, though. So um, we kind of see her like her journey, how like how she went off and stuff like that. Yeah, but it seems like also she just kind of like wakes up right here and just kind of like you know seems like she wants to like really get and stuff like that. Just kind of like a phone adventure, but it seems like um, her sister Reese doesn't really want her to, to, to kind of like go on her own, I believe. I mean, she can't like end it or whatever. I feel like that's kind of like her, her going on to this arc, um, arc. Arc going on to the arc. She's kind of like, you know, she's wanting to go with somebody that to kind of explore the world, kind of do her own thing. It seems like she's going to take on um, Evie. It seems like she doesn't want to take Evie with her, but she takes her own way, though. Um, so like she has a really, really bad She wants to uh, take everything. But of course, we see kind of like a little Dawn slash Mom reference right here. There's a lot of people did point out uh, that, like, basically, it's kind of like a Dawn Mom reference or she first handed her back going on her journey and stuff like that. Of course, it seems like she's, um, it seems like, yeah, prof 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 Professor Zoris doesn't want her going on her own, though. But of course, you know, we got to see her for the world going on. Stuff like that. Yeah, it's a book of books and all stuff. Yeah, yeah. You know, you don't want the parents, you know, going on, not going on, but you don't want the parents on. You know, over worrying and stuff like that. They don't want them doing stuff on their own, even though you have ten, two 10 year olds going on the world by themselves. But I feel like they kind of like Ash, you know, Ash and Coco is going on though, so maybe they want to kind of their own thing going on right here. So, which is honestly not that bad. So, yeah, of course, we see um, Coco kind of get lost, you know, going on, like your traveling guy and stuff like that. Of course, you know, being familiar, you know, just going on and stuff like that. Of course, you also see Don's mom, you know, her being a tough coordinator. It makes sense you go in the news, which is kind of cool though. I kind of like that though. Um, I also see Chloe like, really interested in her and stuff like that. I feel like that I think they, I think her and Don have a discussion, just kind of going through, skimming through the episode, just kind of going on. So like Chloe's really excited, just kind of doing something on her own, her and Evie, just, yeah, again, like her exploring the world. I thought the thing this episode, like when I was doing this, I was like, wait a minute, I could think about this because Chloe wants to do something on her own and stuff like that, of course, on her. I think that. My tablet, my tablet was over there. I was like, wait, what? Oh, really hot right now, though, of course. You guys can't see it, but I'm sweating like heck right now. But yeah, it seems like I'm um, Chloe just this whole arc just about her wanting to explore maybe the world. I kind of like how Ash and Go do, because at the end of Alola, Ash wanted to go explore the world. I feel like Chloe was doing kind of the same thing. You know, like, Kamei just kind of discover what she's going to do, what she's going to be. Because uh, again, we still don't know what she's going to do or be at this point, though. So, um, yeah. Uh, but I kind of like that, though. Um, again, giving her own kind of like, little story arc. Um, because again, Alola, I feel like she's probably one of the best girls in the book of period for me. Just kind of like, she doesn't know what she wants to do, like, there's no set path for her, she just wanted to do, you discover her doing stuff on her own, like, just physically, physically going, mentally going into the world, doing whatever. Because before she didn't really like Pokemon, now she does, I feel like she wants to get to know every Pokemon. Because like how Lily, Mallow, and like, Lana were just doing kind of their own goal things, and like, you know, the Lone Gang, Lone Squad, a Lone Squad, there you go. So yeah, that one's actually very cool. Um, but it seems like she also gets lost in the forest, just like, you know, taking the Starly and stuff like that. I kind of like that, like, you know, how Ash first got into a region, he saw Starly. Kind of like a little reference there, I kind of just know that, yeah. 
I mean, of course, you're in to kind of like the hall. That'd be kind of cool. But it's not Fall Night around this area. That'd be kind of cool if you guys are like in part two, Fall Night come back, you know? Like, hey, what's good? <laughs> just watch out everything. Like, you're for better king. <laughs> but yeah, it's really cool because it's lost in the forest, though. Of course, let me cut back to Ash and Ghost perspective of their journey. Uh, so it's gonna start raining or you know, getting, like kind of like little um, foggy. So we kind of see the clothes background transitioning onto Ash and Ghost background, which I kind of just noticed that a little bit there. But it seems like they're kind of still discovering what's going on. So like that, we see everybody like, sleeping and stuff like that. Um, yeah, I guess just explaining going over like, sort of, some dark brown and stuff like that. Maybe he's around the area. Ash and Ghost sort of kind of figuring out like, what they're doing and stuff like that. Then it comes to get another Team Rocket team where they're kind of sort of discussing the Sinnoh plans. Like they're gonna take over Sinnoh and they take over, but they're going on Sinnoh. It seems like they have like their, you know, kind of like, you know, basically being like, yeah, just stay out a little, like, get out of our plane, we'll do our own thing. You're like, nah, they're idiots. So yeah, of course, Chloe, um, and Evie kind of get a little, more, a little bit more, um, cool fitting, having a little own moment, which is cool. We've seen that in the series a lot, though, um, having their own, like, little moments. And some of them just starting up, setting up camp, which is, I think, more of a surrender thing, you know, what she first, you know, they don't, like, you know, Evie kind of like, Evie and Chloe are kind of like, little, if you're on camping, but we see, let's see if I go on my lamp, I, that's all if I go on my lamp, I might be crazy. Um, but yeah, um, oh, okay, I'm, okay, I'm really gonna start my tablet is doing like everything right now, so it's on, over, over here being crazy. But, um, yeah, uh, so like we see, yeah, it's only kind of a little bit nervous about the night and stuff like that, of course. Then we see, yeah, of course, you know, Dom will come in, just first face into the suit, but just, first of all, let's go to Scorcher face off like halfway there. Of course, we see Dom come in, hello, kind of takes my introduction how getting her back in, like, you know, I thought she was clumsy, you know, beginning of her journey, kind of coming back to this. I don't know, just really a lot of good references there, though. Also look like Cecilia just praying with her hands right there, so I think confirmed I think those are confirmed that are her hands yes, her hands. Yeah. Then we come back of course they done um Chloe scene of course them recovering getting back up. <laughs> um but kind of a little bit funny though, we're just done back in and stuff like that. Of course, talk about their journeys and perspectives and stuff like that. Really good moment though, I actually do like it though. I guess Don talked about her being at the coronary and stuff like that, while Chloe's just, you know, again, really, really interested in stuff like that. But it's a really good moment. I actually do like this moment right here, just them talking about their dreams and stuff like that. Really good moment right there. Of course, the Quebec Street Cyber Tour of our Ash and our Go come back and stuff like that, of course. We also see them dress up as, like, you know, I think it's like Brandon on. Chris are just dressing up as Team Rocket for some odd reason. Kind of funny though. I was like, okay, it's kind of cool and funny right here. And of course, we see Ash and Go in Team Rocket gear as well. Uh, so, we saw Toy Rocket gear. I like how it has an S and then just, you know, just. Crazy little stuff right there. Of course, this is so race going crazy, but he also realizes the dream. Uh, him playing guys, you know, Bonnie or just together. Though. I forgot her name. The um, Grand Team Rocket they were talking to. I forgot. Um, ooh, I'm sweaty right now. So, man, I'm really sweaty. Really, really sweaty. So, yeah, um, of course, we see Ash Go get up and stuff like that. Pikachu Groovy get up. Of course, we see the Dark Rye right there. Like, hey, what's up? And of course, as you go from the perspective, they see Dark Rye. Maybe it's like a cool, full on dream and stuff like that. We see Chloe and, um, of course, Don get up. I like how they're like little, some, um, little um, perspective there, like how, um, you know, basically their own <laughs> hair is getting messed up. I kind of like that little moment right there. Of course, they have a lot of really good moments. Um, of course, we see them going to the forest trying to get back to equal footing. And of course, they all see, see how Don's perspective probably like she has to have fun. She, again, Don's like clumsy and stuff like that, kind of in the day. End of the day, really funny though. Of course, we see them, um, you know, kind of like see their different perspectives. Chloe wants to get back on track, while Don just wants to kind of like, you know, spend time around being like, not really lazy, but doing her own thing like he usually did. Like, you know, seeing everything pretty, you know, her being clumsy. Typical, typical stuff though. Of course, we see them kind of get a little bit of an argument as well, which I kind of do like though. Like, seeing their differences, Don with that one, while Chloe wants to kind of get back on. Also, notice attention to detail. Um, people's eyes are blue, like, they're blue right here, they have black like, in the pupil. I kind of just noticed that. That's really going to change the detail of how, like, how they change the eyes, because we see, because we see Evie's eyes, so it's purple, like, black, purple. But those, like, it's, it's blue and black. A little attention to detail, I actually do really like, though. Uh, they changed it, because it before, 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 previously was black. Of course, we see Ash and Go getting back on their journey and stuff like that, though. Um, seeing, like, the areas where Dark Rye is, you know, because they saw it last night and stuff like that in the dreams. Of course, we see Team Rocket investigating the area, searching around for Dark Rye while they're going after Cresselia. You know, because typical Team Rocket stuff. And of course, we see Chloe and um, Evie. Chloe on the road. Chloe, um, Chloe, Evie, Don, Pippa, up there goes. I'm um, very cool with putting there. Um, of course, getting back on the track, you know, they're being mad at each other. Let me see, of course, over in Rapirion. Rapirion. Um, of course, they just super mad. I, I, I was, I, my friend had this Pokemon. I just, I think I forgot already. I, I just completely forgot. We see, it seems like it seems a little bit tired. Of course, it seems like Dark Rides in Cresselia are even picking the Pokemon. Um, okay, I kind of, so yeah, because in the beginning, yeah, Team Rocket are chasing away Cresselia, while Dark Rides seem over the island, while I was, you know, 
Everybody's having nightmares. That makes a little bit more sense. Of course, we see a little bit of tire right there. We see Chloe and um, Evie, of course. Chloe and Evie, Don Pivot start to battle it off. Um, you know, seeing their different perspectives on battling and stuff like that. It cheers them up a little bit, though, of course. We see Chloe and Evie, of course, Don things across at them. We have all um, Chloe and things by the Don Pivot, how they, you know, see their problems and stuff like that. It seems like they're just really tired, just confusing stuff like that. Of course, we see them getting back on equal footing. Well, I should go on. Um, See Cresselia, you know, uh, well, I think uh, people have been using spot Cresselia, I think, right there. It seems like, um, yeah. I don't know, I feel like, yeah. Then, of course, Ash, we see Ash and Go, of course, like, on the on mountain top, I guess, trying to see, like, the area where Dark Rise is going to be. But they, um, also kind of, like, hear like, Cresselia's voice, I believe. And, of course, um, we see, um, I think of it. We see, um, Don, of course, Chloe, we see Cresselia just, like, hurt here, because Team Rocket, which I, I can't make sense, Team Rocket was trying to pursue it, and, of course, it got hurt in pursuit, and it fell. Got her, and of course, Dark Ride took the violin. Like, okay, it's my time though. Of course, we get to be to continue. So, we see Ash and go, okay, it kind of makes up the story a little bit. I kind of like it, like how they introduced Dawn back in and stuff like that. Really good though. Um, but at the same time, I feel like we really didn't need it. But at the same time, it's like it's good to get like a little bit of a kind of like a two part episode for her and stuff like that. So, so yeah, I'll give the uh, next review out when I can and stuff like that, of course, though. So, yeah, really good episode. Again, again, going Chloe going to the center doing her own thing while Ash and go are doing you know, Dark Ride while um, Chloe and um. And Don doing Cresselia. Really good stuff, though. I actually like the story arc and stuff like that, of course. Um, really good stuff, though, there for both um, stories. To see, like, Don's perspective, I like she had that fun while Chloe keeps on, like, a tight schedule kind of thing. I was just, you know, fight, makeup, and stuff like that. Really good, though. Really good um, callbacks, like, earlier, like, you know, like, a lot of Cinder Rock have seen Don's mom, which actually was her book. But for all episode, we see Ash and Ghost's perspective with the journey. Not really that much for them, it's mainly just Chloe and Don, but. Well, good stuff there. See you guys later, though. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Cool. I'll put you up again, though. Make sure you stay safe. Watch your hands. God bless. I'll be your cool. Oh, more matter. <laughs> what do you guys think about all this info, though? Of course, did you like it? Did you hate it? I think the info, I think the um, episode was actually really good. Again, good to talk about uh, Gamaro's thoughts in the next part, but I feel like I got pretty much everything out that I really wanted to get out. So, yeah. See you guys later, though. Nope. Peace out.